Okay, now I'm at it. 11 thing. Take one. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to, are we ready? Yeah. Do you want to go first? Or your sister should go first? No. You go first. Okay, so who's older? Who's older? Him. Him? Oh, you're okay. going first. You're going. My name is Richard Elm. My name is Eva. My name is Marion too. Uh, my name is Holly. I'm Damien. I'm um, Ben McIntyre Paul. My name is DG Blair. My name is Rowan. Um, hi, I'm Hannah. My name's Sophie. I'm Morgan Christopher. I'm Tara. Hi, Sarah. Uh, my name's Jennifer. Hi, my name is Ronnie Lawley Fergie. I'm Hannah. My name is Rhiannon. Oh, my name is Maria. Yeah, I'm Jordan Licardi. Um, my name's Tessa. My name's Mason. And I'm Ronnie's sister, Lorianne uh, Christopher. Um, this is our first year here. I've been coming here with my family for the last 17 years. Okay. Last summer was the first time. I have been coming to Nirmata for eight years now. Probably since I was five or six. This is my fifth year in Nirmata. And I have been coming to Nirmata for 20 years. This is five, so around 10 or 11 years. That's my first year, so yeah. And I've been coming to Nirmata about 40 years. I come from Canada. Um, I've been coming for seven years, not straight, but yeah. For I think 12 years now? You've been coming here for five years. I've been coming here for about eight or so years, eight or nine. This is my 14th year here. And I have been coming for nine years. Whereabouts in Canada? Naramata is special to me because it's my home. I mean, it's lots of fun and like my mom always makes lots of friends too. I think I grew like I grew up here. People show up and they're like, oh, I'm new here. And then you just take them under your wing. What town do you live in? Oh, um, Alberta. For me, Naramata, it's a pilgrimage that we do every year. Uh, we leave uh, all the worries and concerns of home and work behind. And we come here and it creates a space for us to be in community. Uh, with people who uh, accept us just the way we are. And the adults during the day can do their own thing and have a break from their kids. We all gather here to be together. <laughs> Where in Alberta? Forget. Forget? Um, I love coming back to Naramata every year because um, it's kind of Heartwarming every time you come, you just walk outside and you're like, ha, ah, I can relax. It's just like the best place in the world, I swear. Beautiful lake for sailing on. Also, really like just like hanging out by the lake. My favorite place in Maryland is the lake. The lake, for sure. Probably, probably, don't you know, It's absolutely beautiful with the lake and the, the wineries up on the rolling hills. It's gorgeous. Go to the beach, enjoy the sun, have something to eat. Uh, when I was like underneath the water, like, um, and I saw the fish, it's pretty awesome. I'd say the beach juice definitely it brings everyone together. I actually thought that we were in St. Pete and this is Playland. Isn't this Playland? Uh, and... Do you remember what your town is called? No. No, oh, that's Calgary. Calgary? Calgary. Yeah. Calgary, okay. <laughs> How do you sum up Naramata in a couple of phrases? It brings people together. It's um, a very special spiritual home for all of us. Naramata is for all people. Like, a little bit of me belongs here, I think. Um, I don't know. I love everything about it. But also, I think, just the spirit of the place for the sense of community. You think, how can people come together in just seven days and, and build this sense of community? But it really does happen. Because we've made discoveries here, because we've found ourselves here, already starting our own traditions and it seems that everyone when you come 
it seems to be the same families again and again, and that's wonderful. We came for what we thought was going to be one year, <laughs> and now this has been eight consecutive years. And it was supposed to be a one-time thing, but we just started coming more and more. We decided to do it as a family reunion. This is now our eighth year. Something that I've been able to share with my family and my extended family, and I just love that. My children were spent their summers here, and now my grandchildren. Have fun leaders? Yeah. Yeah? Um, I love the leaders. I just like to say that. Well, I'm here today. It's great to see kids running around in a safe environment, but still um, being able to you know, observe their own personalities. I really, really appreciate that. Growing up, it was, it's a, it's a very safe place where you can come and feel totally comfortable being entirely yourself. Like it's such a safe environment and it's so easy to like make friends here. That's a big thing to me I think is just creating friendships and keeping them, especially since the people from like past years still come so we like, keep those we only see them once a year. What are your favorite parts of Nara? Um mine is probably my most favorite is probably the beach. How the sun shines everywhere. I think about like coming back to my childhood. I really think about Naramata Center. Um, coming back now as an adult, I think it's even more special to me. And I want to bring my kids here. What I do here for one week carries me carries me through the year. Naramata is our closest piece of paradise. Um, I like. The worship on the beach because if you and if you're not like Catholic or, or Christian or anything you don't have to come to it but it's still fun to sing like songs and stuff. It's deep and dark And right now Naramata is the church that I go to. And it's cool too because you don't have to be religious to come here. You're from Calgary right? Yeah. yeah. Calgary. I'm from Calgary. Gives me a pause in my day or in my year where I can, I have the opportunity to try to be the best that I can be. It, it amazed me in the course of one week at Marinata. I came away feeling um, rejuvenated, better sense of self. The course I took, the program I took that week was gospel singing, and it was just so joyful. And to have that gift of three hours in the morning. I feel such joy and to let everything out. It's absolutely wonderful. What are your favorite parts of Naramata? My favorite parts of Naramata is the beach. Um, it's just a very special community. You just kind of have this, I don't know, some little, little twinkle that you maybe didn't have before. And the conversations. You know, the conversations are so rich, so important. And, uh, I've had conversations with people that have like um, really impacted the way that I've lived my life at home and it's it's a wonderful thing to a gift to be able to bring back home when I go home and and try to put that into practice. Well, let me see Naramata. <laughs> it's just been an all-around great experience. Absolutely, I'll be back next year. I want it for my great grandchildren. <laughs> Wherever you are, you have to try and find somewhere like this place. I mean, never matter. You put it on the calendar every January, mm -hmm. and um, and so you anticipate it for almost half a year. And then there's never matter the week itself, or two weeks if you're lucky. And then we remember it. Do you guys want to come back next year to never matter? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We love it that much. Mm -hmm. Except for the car ride. <laughs>